Okorocha breaks silence after he was accused of being behind the recent attack in Imo State. Hello, my wonderful people. Um, Roger Okorocha, presently now a senator, the former governor of Imo State, has been accused of being the one behind the prison break uh, that happened in Imo State where a correction center was attacked and then the police headquarters or in Oweri, was also burnt down. The present governor, the present administration said Roger Chokorocha is the one behind what has happened. And since then, we've not really heard from Roger Chokorocha, but finally now he's breaking silence in that regard as to if he was really the one or speaking in his defense. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Let's get all the details. Okorocha breaks silence after he was accused of being behind the recent attack in Imo State. Former Governor of Imo State, Roger Okorocha, finally breaks the silence after he was accused of being behind the recent attack in Imo State. A couple of days ago, the Imo State government released a controversial statement concerning the person behind the deadly attack in the state. It was really surprising that the name of Roger Okorocha was mentioned by the government. We all know that Roger Shokorocha and the present governor of Imo State, Hope Zedema, aren't in good terms. Could this be that Hope is trying to hit back at Okorocha? That's a question everyone is asking right now. However, the general public has heavily criticized Hope Zedema for being, for being uh, such an, uh, I don't want to use the word, such a bad man, just put it like that. You can imagine what it means. Roya Sukarucha has felt the need to react to the allegations in a fresh statement signed by his media aide. The statement reads, We wish to inform the general public that we decided to leave, to leave the Imo state governor and his government in the court of public opinion over their allegations against Sukarucha concerning the unfortunate and worrisome wor attack that happened in Imo State's correction center. The governor of Imo State decided to point finger at the former governor of the state for reasons best known to him. We will leave him and all that is order consigns him to the courts of um, public opinion and let the people decide for themselves and speak what is really going on currently now as we are in a position not to answer anything with regards to their accusation. We leave the Imo State Governor to continue on his trail of accusation and what he feels he deemed best to do at this point in time. Roger Shokorocha will not succumb to any cheap blackmail being instigated by persons who have their personal agenda on issues ongoing. So my people, this is what it is. Roger Shokorocha decided not to say A or B. If he was the person or not the person, he said, no, I don't have anything to say. I will leave the matter as it is. I won't, I won't say a single word. I will let the sleeping dog lie. I will not allow any of such thing to happen. I will just leave it. And um, he, you know, he's been accused and um, his uh, media aide has come out to say, you know what, we're going to leave these people. We're not going to say a single word to what is currently on ground. We'll just leave them to do what they are doing and we're just going to let it be. We're not going to say a single word to them. We're going to let the governor do what he wants to do. And we'll just keep quiet and be watching him. When he's done accusing, we will get to the bottom of it. You know, he's in the, in the, he's in the eastern part of the country that we see that the, the, the leaders, I, I mean, it's all over the country, but mostly, you know, that we feel that these people should be speaking and giving direction to their states, especially protecting their own. But it feels very much like they are the ones fighting against themselves. They are the ones, you know, uh, personal interest and uh, personal bias is coming into government, into, you know, administration, and is rather not put, putting the state in a, in a better position. It's giving the people, it's not giving the people a better uh, a presentation in, in the eye of the public, you know, uh, because you see people from other regions, even in the north you see them backing up uh, but guess what in the in the in the east the story is different in the east the story is different they would rather allow a whole village you know genocide to be carried on and nobody will say anything and i wonder seriously why where are the traditional leaders where are the people who should be speaking and saying no this is not done as a government have you tried uh, parents and children at times have misunderstanding but they resolve it 
Have you tried to have a discussion around this issue, around the center, as to what is going on? Why are things like this? Have you tried to say, okay, this is what the government can do to support you? Okay, let's stop it there so that um, we can have a peaceful reign. These are people who are part of the society. And you have no jurisdiction whatsoever to again, go against their fundamental human rights because they are agitating for what they think is right and what belongs to them. But the government depriving them and even oppressing them, I don't think that is acceptable in any way, form or kind. I don't think so. Honestly speaking, I really think the government, you know, is not is not uh, uh, give availing the people the opportunity to do the right thing. He's not even he's not even coming to the table of dialogue to say how do we how do we uh, uh, resolve this issue. You know, this this is rather very unfortunate. This is what goes on, and nobody says anything. Nobody says, and everybody keeps quiet and is allowing the country, you know, to go into this this kind of position. Everybody is just it's just quiet there, looking at people going from one end to the other. The governor of Imo State woke up one morning and said, you know what, I think it's Roger Shokorocha. Roger said, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. I don't have anything to say to your allegations. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to just um, allow you to, you know, do as you please. It's your, this is your call. It's your, it's your, whatever you want to do, the ball is left in your court. Okay. I'm going to let you do it as you please. Just do whatever you think is right. You know, he did not answer, not a word, not whether yes or no, not B or D, no, no, I don't have anything to say. You know, they say a word is, in, is enough for the wise, and that's how a wise man, you know, when, when, when you come to a place, even a fool, if he's quiet, it looks like he is sensible. You know, even a fool, if he's quiet, you know, comport himself very well, looks like he's sensible. And this is what, you know, they've decided to do. They say, well, you know what? I'm not going to allow these people to slide. I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to just say anything to, to them. I'm just going to let them, you know, let him say whatever he wants to say. And this is rather very, you know, very thought provoking. You know, when you think about what is going on, why are they really fighting against themselves? What, what, what's, what's the thing? Why are they really, again, why are they, why are they on each other's truths? What's going on? What's going on? So you see, so these are very, very serious issues that need serious attention and um, urgent uh, answer at the moment. This should be working together to ensure that their people are safe. Rather, no, they are working against themselves, fighting against one another. And um, when you look at the whole situation and what is going on, you know that this country needs help. God bless you. Don't have a good day and a lovely day for Moses. Bye for now.